Good gladiator morning. Look at the roads today. This weather is so bad. It was worse a little while ago. It was worse. It's been a while since I started to vlog in the car. I had to take a trip to the uh, post office box and renew because I guess it's been about a year. So I had to work up that money, you know what I mean? I woke up thinking, a wise man once told me to be successful, you want to have multiple revenue streams, right? And, and so I was thinking, I have this plan for another channel. And I really, 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 really want to get a new camera. But, obviously this camera is very expensive. So, today I'm looking at different ways to try and generate more funds to pay for those equipment to help run a different channel. So I figure why don't we try and look, uh, like I want to look at uh, different opportunities that we can use to make more money. Would you believe it's almost 6.45 and I just now had the opportunity to take a shower. Like this time of day is actually, it feels like my afternoon because of the sleep schedule of the baby, it's crazy. It's like, she she only wants to sleep between the hours of three and 12, one o'clock. And by that time, every, I mean, by the time we actually get up and she's up and we can be noisy, it, the day's already halfway over. And, uh, this schedule is crazy. I'm gonna go get something for us to eat for dinner. I ain't cooking today, I'm not feeling it. We're gonna do the old fashioned Wendy's. That's right. Sorry about your weight. Would you like to try a premium cod sandwich today? Yes. Yes, I would. Would you like cheese on that? Yep. Yep. Would you like to make it a combo? No, just a sandwich. Can and I get you anything else? Yeah, I'd also like a junior bacon cheeseburger, small fry, small Coke, small Frosty. Oh, and a small strawberry lemonade. Well, since this line is ridiculously long, I thought I'd, I thought I'd take this time to fill you on on a quick tip. I was watching the weather today, and we're supposed to have like severely cold air into our region for the next few days, and the weatherman says that this air is being funneled to us straight from, get this, Siberia. That's the other side of the freaking globe, Siberian cold air is what we're experiencing right now. That's why I got my my Neff hat on. This Neff hat is acrylic. So it's like super warm. You know, that's another good tip. You don't wear cotton in the winter time because it doesn't keep you warm at all. Acrylic or wool are the most warmest most warmest fabrics. Uh, today I went through all the orders and made sure that everything was taken care of properly. Like my biggest, uh, my biggest pet peeve with businesses are customer service. And I think customer service is a very, very big aspect of a successful business. So it's gonna be my top priority to make sure that anyone I do business with has 100% satisfaction. Uh, because it reflects good on your business, you know? All right. Yeah, so even though the past few days it looks like I'm just sitting at home doing nothing, I'm really doing a lot. A lot. <laughs> so, uh, and also one of the things that I wanted to mention, I mentioned earlier about, you know, different ways to generate revenue. Like if you're a self-employed person and you want to generate revenue for yourself, there's so many different ways that you can do it. And I found this really cool site that I'll show you guys when I get back home. Uh, it seems really legit and it it's almost a perfect fit for anybody because everybody has one of these boys the boys spent some time at Nana's grandma's Nana grandma Nana. Nana. I know it's Nana but they don't know that what's Colin doing Colin get in here there you go I got it I got it. It's cold out there, huh? Yeah. Hurry, jump in. 
Carson just set down his Kindle. Look what this kid is doing in Minecraft. He's so good. He's so creative, man. Look, that's obviously a zombie. And that's probably Steve. Dang, man. I got myself a little artist here. So a couple of my buddies had told me uh, about sites like this and the opportunity that you can make money by simply giving your opinions. You see big companies, they pay big bucks just to get regular people's opinions on different products and services. So there's this site called Opinion Outpost and they basically all you have to do is join the site you have to be 18 or older um, and literally you just take surveys so what you do is you give your opinion on things like food TV movies uh, products and services and then you earn points and those points um, you can redeem on the site for cash Amazon gift cards or iTunes gift cards it's really cool you get one free entry into a ten thousand dollar quarterly prize draw each time you take a survey there's no limit on how many entries you can earn. Dude, that's that camera right there. I could get that camera just by one survey if I won that. Listen, I'm going to put a link uh, to this website in the description. I, I strongly suggest you check it out. If you're over 18 and you want to make a little bit of extra cash on the side just for giving your opinion, click the link. Aside from that, I mean, I, I've kept myself pretty, uh, I feel like I was pretty productive today. I found this site, which is really cool. I'm probably going to be doing some stuff with that. The store is doing great. All the orders are perfectly on track. Like, as soon as the orders came in, boom, they went out for shipment. And I have a really good system set up. Uh, and I'm working with a really good guy. Actually, the guy who made these shirts for me a while back, he's the one who's, uh, who's helping me do the store and stuff. So, uh, mad props to him. Jake is the man, tell me. I think I've spent way too much time on the computer today, and I kind of want to just go downstairs and play with the kids. They got, they may not have school tomorrow. I don't know, they say that every day. But they may not have school tomorrow because it's supposed to be so cold. Let's go scare them. I don't know if there's a bad thing. We helped them get a bird bag for me. Wait, who are you talking to? Ah! <laughs> I saw the light. <laughs> Did you pee your pants? No. <laughs> oh, poor Liza's room. She hasn't even slept in here yet. We did all this work for this room, and she hasn't even slept in here yet, Colin. Here, here's a burp rag right here. Came downstairs and the first word Veronica said was, "Boys don't have school tomorrow. School's canceled." Who, who Can you believe was? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dad. Oh no, dude. I was the zombie. What? I was the zombie, and his arm fell off when I died. His <laughs> arm? Fell only, off. only for a time limit. These only... kids in their Kindles. Oh, I... We got a late night delivery. Can't show you the whole box, but that sticker should show you that. That's gladiator stuff right there. Now listen, I know the channel is, and I've looked at the statistics, the channel is 85% male. There's only 15% female. But that doesn't mean I don't love you ladies. So look what we got. Here's what we got. Here's what we got. We got gladiator shirts for the ladies. Okay. These are like women's cut, so they're a little smaller than the men's you stuff. And Veronica what? is going to actually model them. She's going to be my model, my hot sexy model. But yeah, the women's sizes uh, will be available. I'll put them on the store as soon as possible. We'll shoot photos and then get them up. So the ladies can have their own style and size of t-shirt, okay? Are you ready for tomorrow, boy? You ready? Are you ready? I think I forgot to mention that tomorrow, being Thursday, is Fluffy's big day. I don't find joy in taking the cat to get his balls cut off. 
I don't even know if that's the process, but most people, most domestic cats do get neutered, right? I mean, I think that's where the problem of spraying comes from, is when your cats, they keep their balls, drive them to be territorial, and so they spray all over the house and stuff, which cannot happen here, especially with the baby. So Fluffy has an appointment tomorrow. Are you stoked? Are you stoked, dude? <laughs> oh, poor fella. Good morning, guys. Would you believe Eliza let us sleep in our bed last night? <sighs> she truly let us sleep. She woke up two different times. It was amazing. So I'm getting ready now. Uh, Fluffy's drop-off is, is within the next 20 minutes. So I need to get myself dressed and take the old cat. You love me. To the vet. They're gonna cut him. Get your loving balls. in. They're gonna cut him in the balls. <laughs> they are really, they are. Bye, That's bye, what bye. I hear. It's pretty bad. He's only gonna be gone for a few hours. Yeah. He'll be back today. You get the, um, okay. Ready? Come on, dude. Okay. Come on, Flufficus. Can you ready to go bye bye? Can I hand him to Dallas, mommy, daddy? Dallas is gonna go with me to hold the cat. Can I? Take Fluffy. Can I take him? Be safe. Aww. Let's go. You're good, buddy. Everything's gonna be all right. And Fluffy's in there. He didn't want to let go. He's like clawing on to Dallas's coat, and then I held him for a minute, and he didn't want to go. Which I can understand. And I feel really crazy about taking cats to the vet because I used to have a cat a long time ago. Her name was Gracie and she started like getting sick at home. So we took her to the vet and I got a call later that day with the vet telling me that they were really sorry to inform me that my cat, once they put the cat uh, on IV because she needed fluids, um, she passed away. So, I hate the vet. I hate taking cats to the vet or any pets to the vet. That always stuck in my head and it messed me up for a long time. But Alright kids, that's where this video ends. Uh, we'll pick up tomorrow with getting Fluffy back from the vet. Uh, it's super cold out so the kids don't have school today. And we're probably going to have to find some cool things to do inside because it's it's... Siberian cold out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it for me today, guys. I uh, can't wait to see you right back here tomorrow.